we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta Roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions. 11 Alive News at 1130 starts now. And we begin with breaking news. Georgia Gwinnett College on lockdown at this hour following a shooting near campus. Gwinnett police say one person was killed in front of an apartment on Walther Boulevard in Lawrenceville. An alert went out to students just before 11, telling them to seek out a safe area, lock and barricade their doors. We do have a crew on the way right now, and as soon as we learn more information, we'll bring it to you on air and online. Also, more breaking news. This one out of Gaines where crews are dealing with a big hazmat situation right now. 11 Alive Sky Tracker just over the scene on Memorial Park Drive, which is shut down. Police telling us patients are being taken to the hospital, but it is unclear right now how many. Our team is working to get you more information as we speak. Newly elected Republican Congresswoman and QAnon supporter Marjorie Taylor Greene making headlines again today, this time for what happened at one of her town hall meetings. This is a liberal position. Okay, I'll come back. Online and on purchases as far as gun control, such as gun buybacks and your true history. Why can't Here's the great thing about America. Our Constitution declares. A reporter with the NBC station in Chattanooga threatened to be arrested for criminal trespass in Dalton, Georgia last night after asking Representative Green a question. A member of Green staff initially asked the reporter to leave the town hall and then a Whitfield County Sheriff's deputy escorted the news crew out the building. While media was invited to the event, WRCB TV says once they arrived, they were told they would not be allowed to ask questions. A spokesperson for Green's office telling WRCB TV the reporter was removed because the event was not a press conference and she was not approved to ask questions. Congresswoman Green is hosting three town halls this week. The last one is in Dallas tonight. And now around the same time as that incident involving a reporter on Capitol Hill, a California Democrat announced plans to introduce a resolution to expel the representative from Congress. Congressman Jimmy Gomez citing a CNN report accusing the congresswoman of supporting violence against Democrats. The report highlights social media activity from Green before she was elected. It's unlikely Gomez's resolution will pass in a chamber where Democrats hold a narrow majority. A two thirds majority is required to expel a member of the House. Representative Green issuing a statement to 11 Alive this morning saying in part it is the latest move by Democrats to come after her. We are digging more into the controversy surrounding her and other actions that could be taken against her. That's coming up tonight at six. Now to a developing story out of DeKalb County, a one year old child rescued from a home 
crushed by a fallen tree. It happened just hours ago on Scarborough Lane. Photojournalist Stephen Boise spoke with mom Ashley Johnson shortly after little Ashe was rescued. I heard a boom. I woke up. I seen drywall. So then I heard the second boom, like almost immediately after, which was all of the insulation and the wood that was up in the ceiling. And I looked over to my son. He was okay. I immediately jumped out of bed and went to my daughter's room, but I couldn't get the door open. So I got it open just a little bit, like enough to where I could see her. But the tree literally, like, blocking the door from opening. Terrified does not even begin to describe like the panic in my heart that I felt. Uh, I lost my husband on February 19th of last year. And so I was just like, I, I just can't lose a kid. And I seen like the spot that was over her bed. I literally watched it get bigger and bigger. So I'm like, it's about to cave in on my baby. Um, so I just called 911 and they came, they had to um, like use the, the tool, the electric tool to cut the door open to go in and get my baby. When they put her in my arms, I just like thank my husband. I just thank my husband for keeping us safe, like my guardian angel. Cause God knows this past year, I, we have one heck of an angel for keeping us safe. This is new at 1130. It is official. The president of the Atlanta City Council challenging Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms in the November election. Atlanta finds itself at a critical juncture. Again, I've heard your voices and time has come for me to take the next step. Moore has served as a city council member for 20 years and became the council president back in 2018. Mayor Bottoms has risen to a high national profile as a Democratic surrogate for Joe Biden, now president. But as mayor, she's had to deal with the pandemic's impact on Atlanta's economy, a rise in violent crime and protests related to police abuse. All three issues are likely to be central points in the mayoral race this year. Coming up at five, we'll have reaction from Mayor Bottoms and go one on one with more about her big announcement today. Now to COVID-19 and school surging infections in Coweta County, prompting the district to move thousands of students at two schools to full virtual learning for now. Mara Sirianni explains. Citing a staffing shortage, the district says those two schools will make the switch to virtual learning through the middle of next week. In letters sent home to parents, the district says Elm Street Elementary currently has 17 staff members and 97 students in quarantine. In addition, the elementary school has received seven reports of positive COVID cases, sick students and staff between January 19th and yesterday. Madras Middle School reported 10 positive cases in about the same time frame, with 13 staff members and 109 students currently in quarantine. In the latest report from the Georgia Department of Public Health, officials say Coweta County has 6,923,000 ,009 cases with 106 confirmed deaths and 241 hospitalizations. The switch to online learning for students at Madras begins today with the shift for Elm Street students going into effect tomorrow. Students at Elm Street are expected to be welcomed back next Wednesday with students at Madras returning next Thursday. A medical center in Elberton that administered COVID vaccines to dozens of teachers against the state's current guidance has been suspended from the vaccination program for six months. The Department of Public Health says it is critical that DPH maintains the highest standards for vaccine accountability to ensure all federal and state requirements are adhered to. Roughly 40% of the district's 500 staffers opted to get the vaccine after it was offered to them. This says seniors all across Georgia who are eligible are still struggling to get an appointment. Now, all of this is important because right now nearly a dozen Metro Atlanta superintendents are pushing for teachers to become eligible now for the vaccine. Governor Brian Kemp telling 11 Alive it is all about supply. These are tough choices. I wish I could say, and I could, I could say, hey, we'll open it up to everybody, but you're going to have, you know, three or four million people. They're going to be scheduling appointments that are going to be happening in June, and those people are going to be getting in front of the people that um, really, I think, meet the existing criteria. 
We want to know, do you think teachers should be moved up on the list to get the vaccine? You can weigh in on the 11 Alive Facebook page right now. It is no secret the vaccine rollout has been nothing short of rocky. Now new data shows people of color are getting shots at much lower rates, and we've known for months now that they've been dying from the virus at much higher rates as well. Media mogul Tyler Perry is stepping in trying to combat that with the help of Grady Health System. Natisha Lance explains. A chaotic rollout of the vaccine and continued skepticism of it is keeping minority deaths and hospitalizations soaring above white counterparts. And now, new data analysis by the Kaiser Family Foundation found alarming racial and ethnic disparities in COVID-19 vaccinations in 16 states. That data unavailable in Georgia. The state does not track who gets the vaccine according to race. This is not just a health care issue. It goes into housing, it goes into education. So if there are partnerships that can be formed between healthcare organizations and other community-based organizations to get to those individuals, that is partially how we will solve healthcare disparities. Grady Healthcare System teamed up with Tyler Perry to help spread the word on the vaccine. Well, the idea of, of Grady was that we will approach Tyler Perry, who's an opinion leader, because we know that key opinion leaders are very important. The plan was to capture the moment the media mogul received the vaccine. He said, you know, this is not just about a photo. This is about educating the community. One in three African Americans are hesitant to get the vaccine, according to Kaiser. Even Perry had to be educated on it before agreeing to take it. He put his experience and the information learned together in a special set to air Thursday on BET. But Dr. Carlos Del Rio says making sure communities of color have access to the vaccine is just as important. Number one, we need to get out to the community. We need to set up vaccination sites, for example, in African-American churches, in places where people in the community can go. We need to go to the community, not want the community to get to us. And that is happening in some states already. Dr. Del Rio said that hearing the information can be transformative. One woman on Perry's staff was reluctant, but by the end of their conversation, she decided that she would get the vaccine. Let's turn it over to our weather, Melissa. It is a breezy, blustery, cold day. Didn't you enjoy all the sunshine and milder temperatures we had early this week? Then yesterday's rain kind of brought an end to that warm weather. We're looking at mostly sunny skies out there, though. Sunshine not in short supply, but look at these gusty winds blowing the clouds off and the breeze there at our live camera up in Rome. Right now in Rome, we have gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Same within Atlanta and Marietta. So this is creating a huge wind chill factor outside where it feels a lot colder than the actual temperatures are right now feeling like just 30 in town 31 in Marietta and 29 up in Rome. So if you haven't gone outside today yet and you look at that sunshine and think oh, I think I'm going to take a nice walk. Grab a big puffy coat. It is a cold one out there. So throughout the rest of the afternoon, we'll continue to track these gusty north winds driving in that cold air. So let me walk you through the afternoon. 40 degrees right now. We're going to be up to about 45 by noon, but the feels like temperatures stay in the third is leading into a clear breezy and cold overnight. Your weekend starts off nice, but by the end of it, we're tracking a lot of rain. Sheba, I'll time that out coming up. Ooh, more rain. All right, Melissa, thank you. Georgia pre-K teachers are getting a $1,000 bonus. The pre-K and child care teachers were originally left out of the bonuses Governor Kemp announced for K through 12 teachers. But according to the AP, 65 million will be set aside for them in the latest round of federal aid. The state will continue to provide aid to private child care providers. A second suspect now behind bars in connection with the death of a two year old girl. Sandy Springs police arresting Jeffrey Myers yesterday in the beating death of Fallon Fridley. His girlfriend, Fallon's babysitter, Kirsty Flood, is charged with murder. Last month, Fridley was found unresponsive in Flood's apartment off Monterey Parkway. An autopsy showed she had several injuries that led to her death. 1142 right now still ahead here. The latest efforts in the struggle to get more COVID-19 vaccines to more Americans as we get some encouraging news when it comes to the number of cases. Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. 
they were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on-the-ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> As America nears half a million coronavirus deaths, the new White House Coronavirus Task Force says that number could grow substantially over the next few weeks. The Biden administration pulling out all the stops to fight the virus and get the vaccines into more people's arms. But as NBC's Tom Costello reports, it may still be months, not weeks, before the general public has access to the shots. Yeah, good day from Washington. First, the good news, the number of new cases nationwide is dropping, down more than 30% in the weeks after the holidays. But the number of deaths lags the number of new cases, and that's the grim milestone that we're talking about. The country's uh, death toll expected to cross the half million mark within the next three weeks. Nationwide, states continue to report they simply don't have the vaccine doses to keep up with demand. The CDC reports just over a million people a day are now getting vaccinated. The Biden administration is promising to increase that over the coming weeks. And now FEMA is asking for 10,000 military personnel to help in the fight. They would be deployed at 100 mass vaccination sites nationwide. Meanwhile, that UK variant of the virus has now been detected in 28 states. Dr. Fauci reiterating that the existing vaccines do appear to be effective against the new UK and South African strains of the virus. But work is already underway on booster shots that would increase protection uh, against those strains. Meanwhile, we do expect to hear more today from Dr. Fauci. A member of the International Olympic Committee says the Tokyo Games will go forward, but perhaps without spectators. Committee Vice President Anita de France touched on the possibility after a meeting with the IOC Executive Board. If we need to do it without spectators to make sure everyone's safe, we'll do it that way. Because we have television, thank goodness. De France also says the IOC has asked each National Olympic Committee to determine what is best for their athletes in terms of COVID-19 vaccines. All right, well, a lot of us woke up breezy, blustery, and cold this morning up in the North Georgia mountains. Hey, a little bit of snow fell overnight up in Blairsville. Jill Davies, one of our 11 Alive Storm trackers, sent in this photo just enough to do a little dusting there on the back deck and this time of year the back edge of some cold fronts coming through that's just what we get in those highest elevations and you know what there's another chance up in the high elevations to maybe see some flakes flying at the very end of the weekend your headlines it's a blustery afternoon it's actually pretty decent outside for us here across North Georgia Friday and Saturday but by the end of the weekend we will be finishing it with unfortunately 
more rain in the forecast. So enjoy the sunshine, the dry weather while it lasts, but it is deceptive sunshine out there this afternoon. You could see Old Glory blowing there in the wind. We have winds right now gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour across the Atlanta metro area, and this is creating feels like temperatures in the 30s. The actual temps climbing up through the 40s. I do think sunshine is going to continue through the afternoon. Sunset this evening about 6.05 p.m. And then it'll be a clear and cold night for us. But let's track those feels like temperatures throughout the after afternoon hours because they're really not going to budge a whole lot from where they are right now. We've got them right now in the low 30s by 1 o'clock, still in the low to mid 30s and even into the late afternoon hours. Look at this. The winds will not be quite as gusty as they were in the morning, but still just enough and some gusts to about 20 miles per hour to keep us feeling like 36 in Atlanta into 430 this afternoon. Then once the sun set this, sets this evening, those wind chills drop back down well into the 20s overnight. High temperatures the next five days. We have a warming trend coming here. 53 for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine Saturday. 55 degrees, a little bit more cloud cover building in. Then look at Sunday, 61 degrees. But with this warmer weather will come a wetter pattern. And it's actually going to come from a big storm that's moving into California, believe it or not. Satellite and radar pretty quiet over us right now with those clouds building over the North Georgia mountains. But look at this, the West Coast. You may have heard about how much impressive snow they're getting the Sierras. They're tracking snow in feet in the coming days. But this storm is going to race across the country. And by Sunday, it arrives here and it brings us some rain showers. So 55 degrees with clouds increasing for Saturday. For Sunday, we'll track rain and showers. I think they're going to be around both in the morning and in the afternoon, unfortunately, but at least it'll be a little warmer. 61 degrees. So 60% chance of rain on Sunday with a five on the wisometer. Today at eight, 45 degrees for the high temperature and then a little warmer to kick off the weekend. Sheba. All right, Melissa, thank you. Coming up, a sisterly bond strengthened after a selfless sacrifice. The heartwarming story next. Did you be both informative and fun? Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick. Open your phone camera right now, aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on-the-ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs>
Weather change. Welcome back. A scary diagnosis testing the bonds of sisterhood after one teen learned she had cancer. Her sister stepped in when she needed it most. Liza Lucas has our Hero Central. From shared laughs to shared adventures, Sophia and Bella Erlando have grown up together, side by side in the good times and the hard ones, too. It was obviously very scary. It was it was very stressful. It was acute myeloid leukemia, a diagnosis that meant rounds of chemotherapy for Sophia and the need for a bone marrow transplant. While siblings are often checked as potential donors first, Sophia's big sister Bella was only a half match, meaning Sophia had to rely on an unrelated donor. But right before the procedure, Sophia's donor was no longer eligible to give. I was just kind of in shock. I mean, we've been preparing for this for so long. At this point, I had already gone through my complete like preparation chemo regimen. The Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center is one of the largest pediatric marrow transplant programs in the country. And Sophia's doctor said they've never had a donor pull out the day before. With Sophia already prepped with chemotherapy, Bella stepped in. I didn't know that I was officially her donor until the night before I did it. It all was very fast. She didn't question it. She didn't even be like, what's going to happen? She just went straight into it. Doctors able to harvest the transplant cells from one sister in order to perform a life-saving treatment for the other. Cells coming from a stranger, I was so grateful and just so appreciated that people do that. But coming from your sister, I think it just meant a lot more. Sisters always united, and this month marks one year since Sophia's bone marrow transplant. She's doing well and now officially done with transplant restrictions and medications. A Georgia man frustrated with the process to get a vaccine is working on a solution. Coming up, how he's helping others like you track vaccines online. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on-the-ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta Roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponds, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. The Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning News 
news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekday. For weeks now, we've been reporting on roadblocks facing mostly seniors trying to book appointments for the COVID vaccine. Now an Atlanta man is offering a possible solution. Brittany Kleinpeter shares his story. My mother-in-law had not been spending much time with my daughter because of concern about COVID and the same thing with my parents. And so I just felt so strongly that I wanted to get my own family back to normal. Like many across the country, Ben Warlick says he was desperate to get his parents vaccinated, but said the process was beyond frustrating. So I started looking around on the websites and, for example, Fulton said uh, we expect to have appointments soon. Uh, just check back. Warlock says he knew there had to be an easier way, so that's when the tech creator decided to build his own text messaging service using public data from county health departments. He checks the website every few minutes, so is when the website changes, when there's new appointments, then the app should know about it. So it works like this. You text VAX, V-A-X, to 678-679-0250. So as soon as you send that text message, you'll get a reply text message that says, welcome to the VAX app. It's going to ask you what county you're in. And then once you enter that information, it will send you any updates when an appointment becomes available in your area. Currently, the text messaging service works for residents in the following counties, but he's trying to add more. The service is free and you just subscribe by sending a text message. 11 Alive News at noon starts now. We're continuing to follow breaking news. Georgia Gwinnett College on lockdown following a shooting near campus. Joe Ripley live in Lawrenceville with the new details. Joe. Well, I can tell you at this hour that that lockdown has been lifted at Georgia Gwinnett College, as well as this apartment complex. Gwinnett County Police first arrived at the scene just after 10 o'clock this morning. They found a man shot dead, and now the search is on for the gunman. This is about as far as the apartment complex will let us go. This is private property, but you can still see the caution tape, as well as a few police cars up there investigating, trying to f figure out what led up to the shooting. Again, this is the Sugar Mill Apartments off Highway 316 here in Lawrenceville. First responders said they did find that man dead, but police do not believe this was a random shooting. They don't feel like there's a danger to the surrounding area. And still, the apartment in nearby Georgia Gwinnett College went on lockdown, this all out of precaution. Police say, again, those lockdowns have since been lifted at this hour. We spoke to one resident just moments ago who was working out at the time. She said she was overwhelmed, feared a little bit about her safety, and brought up another shooting that happened happened not at this apartment complex, but in the area nearby, saying she is concerned over her safety. We're going to stay on top of this story, bringing the very latest, including those details on the possible suspect as we get those. But for now, we'll send things back to you. All right, Joe, thank you. And we're following more breaking news. This one in Gainesville, Hall County, where a hazmat situation at food processing company Prime Pack Foods has shut down a major roadway. 11 Alive Sky Tracker over the scene earlier on Memorial Park Drive. Part of it shut down from Browns Bridge Road to Atlanta Highway. Police telling us patients are being taken to the hospital right now. It's unclear how many. We are expecting to get an update from police in about an hour. Download the 11 Alive app to get alerts sent straight to your phone. And this is new at noon. It's official. The president of the Atlanta City Council is challenging Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms in the November election. Atlanta finds itself at a critical juncture. Again, I've heard your voices and time has come for me to take the next step. Felicia Moore has served as a city council member for 20 years, became the city council president back in 2018. Mayor Bottoms has risen to a high national profile as a Democratic surrogate for Joe Biden, who is now president. But as mayor, she's had to deal with the pandemic's impact on Atlanta's economy, a rise in violent crime and protests related to police misconduct and abuse. All three issues are likely to be central points in the mayoral race this year. Coming up at five, we'll have reaction from both Mayor Bottoms and we go one on one with more about her announcement. 
Newly elected Republican Congresswoman and QAnon supporter Marjorie Taylor Greene making headlines yet again today, this time for what happened at one of her town hall meetings. This is a liberal position. A reporter with the NBC station in Chattanooga threatened to be arrested for criminal trespass in Dalton, Georgia last night after asking Representative Green a question. A member of Green's staff initially asked the reporter to leave the town hall and then a Whitfield County Sheriff's deputy escorted the news crew out the building. While media was invited to the event, WRCB TV says once they arrived, they were told they would not be allowed to ask questions. A spokesperson for Green's office telling WRCB TV the reporter was removed because the event was not a press conference and she was not approved to ask questions. Congresswoman Green is hosting three town halls this week. The last one is tonight in Dallas, Georgia. Now, around the same time as that incident involving a reporter, on Capitol Hill, a California Democrat announced plans to introduce a resolution to expel the representative from Congress. Congressman Jimmy Gomez citing a CNN report accusing the congresswoman of supporting violence against Democrats. The report highlights social media activity from Green before she was elected. It is unlikely Gomez's resolution will pass in a chamber where Democrats hold a narrow majority. A two-thirds majority is required to expel a member from the House. Representative Green issued a statement to 11 Alive this morning saying in part it is the latest move by Democrats to come after her. We're digging more into the controversy surrounding Representative Green and other actions that could be taken against her. That's tonight at 6. And now to a developing story out of DeKalb County, a one year old child rescued from a home crushed by a fallen tree. It happened just hours ago on Scarborough Lane. Photojournalist Stephen Boise spoke with mom Ashley Johnson shortly after little Lache was rescued. I heard a boom. I woke up. I seen drywall. So then I heard the second boom like almost immediately after, which was all of the insulation and the wood that was up in the ceiling. And I looked over to my son. He was OK. I immediately jumped out of bed and went to my daughter's room, but I couldn't get the door open. So I got it open just a little bit, like enough to where I could see her. But the tree literally like blocking the door from opening. Terrified does not even begin to describe like the panic in my heart that I felt. Um, I lost my husband on February 19th of last year. And so I was just like, I, I just can't lose a kid. And I seen like the spot that was over her bed. I literally watched it get bigger and bigger. So I'm like, it's about to cave in on my baby. Um, so I just called 911 and they came, they had to um, like use the, the tool, the electric tool to cut the door open to go in and get my baby. When they put her in my arms, I just like thank my husband. I just thank my husband for keeping us safe, like my guardian angel, because God knows this past year, I, we have one heck of an angel for keeping us safe. So glad everyone is doing okay. Ashe, her nickname, Cupcake. Now to COVID-19 and school surging infections in Coweta County, prompting the district to move thousands of students at two schools to full virtual learning for now. Mara Sirianni explains. Citing a staffing shortage, the district says those two schools will make the switch to virtual learning through the middle of next week. In letters sent home to parents, the district says Elm Street Elementary currently has 17 staff members and 97 students in quarantine. In addition, the elementary school has received seven reports of positive COVID cases, sick students and staff between January 19th and yesterday. Madras Middle School reported 10 positive cases in about the same time frame, with 13 staff members and 109 students currently in quarantine. In the latest report from the Georgia Department of Public Health, officials say Coweta County has 6,923,000 ,000 cases with 106 confirmed deaths and 241 hospitalizations. The switch to online learning for students at Madras begins today with the shift for Elm Street students going into effect tomorrow. Students at Elm Street are expected to be welcomed back next Wednesday with students at Madras returning next Thursday. 
A medical center in Elberton that administered COVID vaccines to dozens of teachers against the state's current guidance has been suspended from the vaccination program for six months. The Department of Public Health says it is critical that DPH maintains the highest standards for vaccine accountability to ensure all federal and state requirements are adhered to. Roughly 40% of the district's 500 staffers opted to get the vaccine after it was offered to them. This is seniors across Georgia who are eligible are still struggling to get an appointment. And all of this is important as well because right now nearly a dozen Metro Atlanta superintendents are pushing for teachers to become eligible now for the vaccine. Governor Brian Kemp telling 11 Alive it is all about supply. These are tough choices. I wish I could say and I could I could say hey we'll open it up to everybody but you're going to have you know, three or four million people, they're going to be scheduling appointments that are going to be happening in June. And those people are going to be getting in front of the people that um, really, I think, meet the existing criteria. So right now it is a no go on teachers moving up the list. Georgia pre-K teachers are getting a $1,000 bonus. The pre-K and child care teachers were originally left out of the bonuses that the governor announced for K through 12 teachers. But according to the AP, $65 million will be set aside for them in the latest round of federal aid. The state will continue to provide aid to private child care providers. It is no secret the vaccine rollout has been nothing short of rocky. Now new data shows people of color are getting shots at much lower rates. We've known for months now that they've been dying from the virus at much higher rates as well. Media mogul Tyler Perry is stepping in trying to combat all of that with the help of Grady Healthcare System. Natisha Lance explains. A chaotic rollout of the vaccine and continued skepticism of it is keeping minority deaths and hospitalizations soaring above white counterparts. And now new data analysis by the Kaiser Family Foundation found alarming racial and ethnic disparities in COVID-19 vaccinations in 16 states. That data unavailable in Georgia. The state does not track who gets the vaccine according to race. This is not just a health care issue. It goes into housing, it goes into education. So if there are partnerships that can be formed between healthcare organizations and other community-based organizations to get to those individuals, that is partially how we will solve healthcare disparities. Grady Healthcare System teamed up with Tyler Perry to help spread the word on the vaccine. Well, the idea of, of Grady was that we will approach Tyler Perry, who's an opinion leader, because we know that key opinion leaders are very important. The plan was to capture the moment the media mogul received the vaccine. He said, you know, this is not just about a photo. This is about educating the community. One in three African Americans are hesitant to get the vaccine, according to Kaiser. Even Perry had to be educated on it before agreeing to take it. He put his experience and the information learned together in a special set to air Thursday on BET. But Dr. Carlos Del Rio says making sure communities of color have access to the vaccine is just as important. Number one, we need to get out to the community. We need to set up vaccination sites, for example, in African-American churches, in places where people in the community hang out. We need to go to the community, not want the community to get to us. Have you stepped outside today? If you have, you know you need an extra layer this morning versus the warm weather that we had the last couple of days. The sunshine's deceptive. You notice the flags are blowing in the wind here at our Rome Live camera, but there's a lot of sunshine out there to be seen near and through, far and through as we look through the afternoon. But because of this gusty wind and the cold temperatures today versus the warm weather we had the last few days, the wasometer is only an 8 out of 11. High temperature going for 45 today. Yesterday we made it up to 60. So gusts right now are between about 15 and 25 miles per hour. This is enough to create a wind chill factor where it's only feeling like we are in the low to mid 30s. Right now the wind chill in Atlanta is 34. It's 32 in Rome and 31 in Gainesville. A couple little cool gravity waves over the mountains. You might see some strips of clouds out there up in Blairsville area, but here's the radar satellite. Pretty quiet picture, but gusty northwest winds are going to keep us cold for the rest of the afternoon. So we're headed up to about 45 for the high temperature. Feels like temps stay in the 30s all through the afternoon. Coming up, I'll talk about when rain returns. Give you a hint. It's by the uh, second half of the weekend. We'll time that out coming up. Sheba. It's a pretty, pretty big hit there, Melissa. Thank you. People coming out of state coming to Georgia for the vaccine. Up next at noon, we'll break down how it's happening. I love it.
Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. The Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Right now at noon, we're verifying questions from you about the COVID-19 vaccine. Can you go to a different county to get your shot? And what about people coming from out of state? Is that allowed? 11 Alive's Palosoro has the answers for you. I am so confused, probably like many of you out there. I thought that you could go to any county to get your COVID vaccine. Do I have to stay in my county or can I go anywhere in Georgia to get a shot? So what's the real story? Many of you have reached out to 11 Alive with those same questions. To verify our sources, the Georgia Department of Public Health, the Northwest Health District, they oversee 10 counties, including Paulding County, and senior citizens who have struggled to get their shots. As I walked in there, they said, are you here for the vaccination? And I said, sure, I'd love to get the vaccination. Uh, what do I have to do? Just fill in the forms. And I said, well, you know, I don't live in Paulding County. I live in Douglas County. That's no problem. Bingo. We can verify that what 77 year old Bill Johnson did is allowed. The Department of Public Health says you can go to any county to receive your COVID-19 vaccine. A spokesperson with the Paulding County Health Department where Johnson received his first shot says they're actually seeing a significant number of people from the Metro Atlanta area. Paulding healthcare workers check IDs to make sure they qualify for phase 1A plus but do not keep track of the counties they live in. The health district encourages people make appointments but has vaccinated people who like Johnson just show up. But what about people who just show up and live out of state? We can verify Georgia is not vaccinating residents from outside of the state, but there are certain circumstances. I think it's important that everybody know we're not going to be checking driver's licenses or, uh, you know, this is it's, we're not going to police this process. Does that mean that somebody may slip in from out of state? Possibly, but we do have individuals who legitimately work here, but live in Tennessee, live in South Carolina, live in Alabama, and, and they could be vaccinated here either th through some, a clinic or through their work site, and that, that's a very legitimate thing. Holding has already vaccinated some who fall under those circumstances. We cover a population base of uh, about 660,000, and that doesn't include a small percentage of people who might be uh, coming in from Alabama and Tennessee. But
But once again, that's a relatively small percent of uh, the immunizations that we're getting. They added that while they're not wasting vaccines because they're able to put them in people's arms immediately, the Northwest Health District supplies remain very low. So much so, they tell me the county is in no position to schedule second dose appointments to those who have already received their first. They're now relying on hope that they'll receive more vaccines in the coming weeks to provide that second dose to those who have already received the first. No confirmation that it's going to be scheduled. At the very worst, I'll go down there in person. And if you have something you want us to verify, email us at verify at 11alive.com. You can also reach out to us on Facebook and Twitter. Melissa, back over to you. And that sunshine's really deceptive out there this Thursday afternoon. Happy almost Friday. It's Friday Eve. You've almost made it to the weekend. Our weekend's going to start off decent on Friday and Saturday, but by the finish of it, we've got rain that will become more likely out there. But boy, isn't this sunshine nice to look at? This is their live camera from Duluth, the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce building there. Nothing but blue skies through and through Gwinnett County right now. But we've got temperatures that are deceptive and they're cold outside. We've got our feels like temperatures stuck in the low 30s and throughout the afternoon. I do think those mostly sunny skies are going to continue, but up to about only 45 for the high temp. That is more than five degrees below average for this time of year, and it's not going to feel that warm outside. We're going to keep the feels like temperatures actually in the 30s throughout the rest of the afternoon out in Duluth and also in Atlanta. We'll keep those feels like temps in the mid 30s. Then into the evening and overnight, once that sun sets, we're still going to keep a little breeze out there at times tonight, so those feels like temperatures go tumbling down through the 20s. Even a few spots tomorrow morning, like Carrollton could be waking up with feels like temps in the teens tomorrow morning. But look at this rebound in temperatures. 45 today. Average high for this time of year is over here, 53 degrees. So tomorrow we'll be back right around average of 53. A little milder for Saturday. Sunday's the warmest of the next five, up to 61 degrees. But with this warming trend, eventually comes a wetter trend as well. So by Sunday we have rain that becomes likely and it's nothing on radar. We're seeing right now anywhere near us. We've got pretty clear skies, lots of sunshine all throughout the southeast, but I'm going to take it to the west coast. You see this monster storm that's moving into California. Why am I showing you this? This impacts us by the end of the weekend. I'm also showing you this because it's a pretty impressive storm. It's bringing feet of snow to the Sierra Nevada and a lot of rain to LA and to all the way up at a Highway 5 corridor. So for the weekend, we're going to see clouds increasing. We still hold off on that rain chance until Saturday night. So Saturday during the day, not too bad. 55 degrees. I think we'll have some sunshine in the morning, but clouds will thicken up as the day wears on. Then for Sunday, about a 60% chance of some rain and showers. Here's the forecast track showing that system out to our west on Saturday night. Still dry there on Saturday here, but Sunday we will see rain and showers moving through. I think especially that midday period on Sunday will be pretty wet for us here across North Georgia. Seven day outlook besides Sunday. Look at this. The rest of your seven day forecast pretty quiet with a lot of sunshine most afternoons. Sheba. Coming up, the latest efforts by the Biden administration to get more COVID-19 vaccines to more Americans as we get some encouraging news when it comes to the number of infections. We'll be right back. It's still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with 
with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people. As America nears half a million coronavirus deaths, the new White House Coronavirus Task Force predicts that number could grow substantially in the coming weeks. The Biden administration says it is pulling out all the stops to fight the virus and get the vaccines into more people's arms. But as NBC's Tom Casella reports, it may still be months, not weeks, before the general public has access to the shots. Yeah, good day from Washington. First, the good news, the number of new cases nationwide is dropping down more than 30% in the weeks after the holidays. But the number of deaths lags the number of new cases, and that's the grim milestone that we're talking about. The country's uh, death toll expected to cross the half million mark within the next three weeks. Nationwide, states continue to report they simply don't have the vaccine doses to keep up with demand. The CDC reports just over a million people a day are now getting vaccinated. The Biden administration is promising to increase that over the coming weeks. And now FEMA is asking for 10,000 military personnel to help in the fight. They would be deployed at 100 mass vaccination sites nationwide. Meanwhile, that UK variant of the virus has now been detected in 28 states. Dr. Fauci reiterating that the existing vaccines do appear to be effective against the new UK and South African strains of the virus. But work is already underway on booster shots that would increase protection uh, against those strains. Meanwhile, we do expect to hear more today from Dr. Fauci. Coming up, a sisterly bond strengthened after a selfless sacrifice. The heartwarming story next. 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue. A scary diagnosis testing the bonds of sisterhood after one teen learned she had cancer. Her sister stepped in when she needed it most. Liza Lucas has our Hero Central. From shared laughs to shared adventures, Sophia and Bella Erlando have grown up together, side by side in the good times and the hard ones too. It was obviously very scary. It was. It was very stressful. It was acute myeloid leukemia, a diagnosis that meant rounds of chemotherapy for Sophia and the need for a bone marrow transplant. 
While siblings are often checked as potential donors first, Sophia's big sister Bella was only a half match, meaning Sophia had to rely on an unrelated donor. But right before the procedure, Sophia's donor was no longer eligible to give. I was just kind of in shock. I mean, we've been preparing for this for so long. At this point, I had already gone through my complete like preparation chemo regimen. The Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center is one of the largest pediatric marrow transplant programs in the country. And Sophia's doctor said they've never had a donor pull out the day before. With Sophia already prepped with chemotherapy, Bella stepped in. I didn't know that I was officially her donor until the night before I did it. It all was very fast. She didn't question it. She didn't even be like, what's going to happen? She just went straight into it. Doctors able to harvest the transplant cells from one sister in order to perform a life-saving treatment for the other. Cells coming from a stranger, I was so grateful and just so appreciated that people do that. But coming from your sister, I think it just meant a lot more. A sister's love. This month marks one year since Sophia's bone marrow transplant, and she's doing great. I want to thank you so much for watching 11 Alive News at noon. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs>
Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news 
should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. The Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. 
We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on-the-ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. For Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush, weekdays on 11 Alive. Weather can't run from the all-new 11 Alive Thunder Truck, a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on-the-ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Here in Atlanta, bad weather means bad traffic. A few drops of rain could destroy a commute. But that's where my man Crash Clark comes in. I go street level, he goes next level. Together, we make sure you get to work on time. 
Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Hey, quick, open up your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you right to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Atlanta Roads are my thing. ITP, OTP, Ponce, Piedmont, all the peach trees. Combined with Chesley's street level forecast, that's a lot of tech and experience to help your commute. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. We're quite the combo. <laughs> Weather changes can make or break your day. That's why the 11 Alive Storm Trackers are always watching what's coming next. Delivering accessible and accurate forecasts that prepare you, not scare you. The Storm Trackers, only on 11 Alive. COVID-19 is still spreading in Georgia. Now get facts, not fear, at 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Track cases by county using our interactive map and get the latest health department data. Visit 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Health experts fear we're just at the start of another surge. Residents here are some of the first seniors to get the vaccine. This epidemic can come to an end. We do have a flash flood warning that just popped up here. And the fallout of this is just beginning. The bigger questions are the longer legal ramifications. Morning news should be both informative and fun. Gone are the days where we're speaking at you. On Morning Rush, we're speaking with you. So connect with us. Talk to us. Think of it as a conversation. Morning Rush weekdays, 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. Quick, open your phone camera right now. Aim it at the screen to download 11 Alive's new and improved app. This QR code will take you to the App Store or Google Play. One simple tap gives you enhanced radar, street level zoom, and severe weather alerts. It's just that easy. Morning news should be informative and fun. Yeah, and we do that here on Morning Rush with Verify, Connect the Dots, Why Guy, and more. We love learning about new things and sharing them with you. We make the news make sense. Morning Rush, weekdays 5 to 7 on 11 Alive. The Negro people had to leave. They were told to get out. White only, no black! 1912, all but one issue has been erased. We haven't had none up here since the first of the century. What's the importance of making sure this history isn't erased? So that it doesn't happen again. Is your morning routine feeling a little routine? Then mix it up. Morning Rush is different. It's the fast-paced news you need with all the energy of your morning coffee. <laughs> Come see the difference on Morning Rush, weekdays on 11 Alive.